Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up. Erev Tov Chabrim. My name is Stephen Ben Danun with Israel Live. Uh, today in the headlines, of course, the continued look at the, uh, the, we the weapons that Iran tried to uh, smuggle into Gaza uh, via Sudan. Uh, Israel uh, w was displaying the weapons today. We, they, they discovered on this ship there were 40 M302 missiles which have a 100 mile range could easily from Gaza could hit Haifa or Tel Aviv uh, as well as 181 mortar shells and over 400,000 rounds of AK-47 ammunition. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was blasting the, uh, the uh, international community for its, uh, as he put it, self-deception. Uh, well, I kind of, not only do I agree with the Prime Minister, but I'm afraid, Prime Minister, it is more willful deception than anything else. In fact, I wonder sometimes if part of the international community is not in support and backing Iran intentionally. Uh, as we see, biblical prophecy says that all nations would come against Israel in the last days. And we are certainly beginning to see this with, with uh, the United States turning their eyes away from Iran's nuclear ambitions. Uh, it's no wonder why most people just shrug their shoulders at the armed shipments that were sent in, uh, that were intercepted by the uh, Israeli intelligence and captured uh, in, in, in the Gulf there. Uh, other news there I'd like to bring to your attention is Pope Francis, uh, and this is certainly worth mentioning because, uh, again, we look at uh, several biblical uh, passages when we think of the, uh, the Catholic Church in modern-day prophecy. Uh, the, the, the headlines that read here, uh, this is on uh, uh, Mail Online News. Uh, gosh, imagine that. Pope to stop condemning same-sex civil partnerships, hence leading cardinal in move, which could be stepped towards Catholic gay marriage. Unbelievable. Uh, Pope, France, Pope Francis suggest, uh, has suggested that the Vatican could support gay civil unions in the future, according to one of the church's most senior cardinals. Cardinal Timothy Dolan said that the pontiff wants the Catholic Church to study same-sex unions uh, rather than condemn them. Cardinal Dolan told American television that Francis wants the church leaders to look into it and see the reason that have driven that have reasons that have driven them. Uh, un unbelievable, quite quite frankly, uh, it's truly we are living in the age of Sodom and Gomorrah. And oddly, much like the nephew of Abra uh, Abraham, we see Lot, a religious figure. The Bible says that it, it vexed his righteous soul daily. Uh, I, I can't, you know, one thing that really comes to my mind when I think of this, when I look at this situation here, is a new prophecy that God has been revealing to me that I, I'm not quite ready to teach on yet, but I'll just share a little insight with you. And that is uh, Pontius Pilate's wife. It's kind of ironic that she takes and warns her husband, sends a warning to him that he was about to condemn a righteous man and have nothing to do with him. Isn't it interesting how the churches that have already married in to the Catholic Church now, just as this woman had married Pontius Pilate, a Roman governor. The church has already married into it. But there is a scripture that says, wake ye from among the dead. See, she was married to Rome, which is death. That's also found in, in Isaiah 28, chapter 28, verse 15. That covenant 
that is made with death. And here the church begins to wake up, as this woman did from her sleep, waking up, trying to warn her husband that he was about to crucify the word. I think there's more that are waking up in the churches that are beginning to recognize that the Vatican is crucifying the word. It's amazing. Anyway, God bless you and good night. Mm hmm.